Hello everyone. Today's topic is about IBM Security Guardian Risk Spotter. Hello everyone. So uh, today in this session, we will try to cover IBM Guardian Data Protection, one of the feature that is Risk Spotter. As digital transformation and cloud migration continue, so does your need for expanded data security. Guardian is a modern, scalable, data security platform that is ready to meet the demands of today's progressing security environments as you tackle security challenges. Guardian helps to identify potential risks across your entire system by enabling risk water in your environment. It will bring out risky users which needs your attention. Let's dive into the world of proactive risk management and explore how this innovation solution can help your organization through in today's fast paced business environment. Let's see agenda for today's session. We have Guardian Analytics, Risk Porter Functions. Next is Risk Porter Risk Indicators, also a prerequisite to enable Risk Porter. Then we will see usage of the Risk Porter result followed by the demo. So Guardian Analytics. Guardian Analytics consists of three features, Investigation Dashboard, Active Threat Analytics, and Risk Porter. Today we are going to focus on Risk Porter. It analyzes database user and determines their risk level. It also samples unmonitored users and evaluate their risk. So risk is out there, but where to look first? Do you look at all the right directions where to focus resources and on what level to do it. Which activity do you investigate first? Risk Porter will help to answer it. Risk Porter function. Risk Porter is a first of its kind technology, changing the security paradigm to an artificial intelligence data protection policy. It uses holistic algorithm to determine access risk factors and it uses smart algorithm to identify potential risk across your entire system. Risk Porter runs on central manager and on standalone system. All collector must be running on V11 or later version. Risk Porter implements dynamic risk management considering multiple risk factors including vulnerabilities and violations that are associated with the users, also errors. It also considers threat analytic findings, activities during off works. This can be defined by after work hours and before our work in the time period builder page and distribute from the central manager to its manage unit. It considers data access volume and also volume of the activities. Also uses how it accesses sensitive data and the different types of command that the user ran like DML, DDL system and so on. Risk Porter algorithm uses Guardian modules to analyze risk indicator and to identify risky users. Each user risk score is calculated daily based on audited data. To maximize the Risk Porter benefit, Guardian adds three type of users to the Risk Porter. First is top risky users. Users identified by the Risk Porter algorithm together with the user installed policies. Users in these groups are carried over from day to day if their risk score wants it. Second is watch list users. The watch list is a group of users that you populate or further observation or investigation. You can add any user to the watch list. This user remain in the watch list group in subsequent risk water daily iteration regardless of their risk score. Third is random sampled users. Risk water continuously scan across the US system beyond your policy radar and evaluating non-audited user and identifying potential risky users. Risk Porter updates the audited risky user group members and reinstall the policy during the daily process, effectively updating any policy that uses it. Additionally, it uses smart algorithm to sample activity outside your policy radar and gives coverage to our entire system. Risk Porter assigns user score in the range from 0 to 10. The detailed risk data is presented in the risky user table in the Risk Porter. Guardian applies the Risk Porter algorithm to the audited data modules to analyze multiple risk indicator and 
to calculate overall risk score of any risky user. The risk spotter algorithm includes relevant weightages of each risk indicator. Let's see which are these parameters. The first is threat analytics. It identified high and medi uh, medium potential risk from the Guardium advanced threat analytics. These threats can be outlier cases like data leak, denial of service, account takeover, schema tempering, data tempering, anomalies, or massive grant. It could be eagle eye cases like SQL injection, miscellaneous stair procedure, suspicious use of new grants, and Bruce force attacks. Next is violation. The number of high and medium severity violations related to DB user. So this violation could be like cross-site scripting, OS command injection, SQL injection, uh, like denial of service, or SQL injection like side channel or uh, tautology. Next is vulnerabilities. The number of field vulnerability assessment for a user. Vulnerability assess system configuration and against best practices and finds vulnerabilities or potential threats to the database resources including configuration and behavior risk. It also includes sensitive objects. The number of queries on sensitive data related to the DB user. Regulated data is always sensitive and always needs to be kept confidential, like social security numbers, healthcare information, or bank account number. There are administrative queries. The relative number of administrative queries could be uh, like grant, delete, create user. So this also considers while calculating the risk. There are different type of SQL queries, which also impacts the risk assessment. It includes DDL queries like um, create, drop, and alter. Next is DML queries. The relative amount of DML queries related to DB user out of the total activities. DML queries like insert, update, and delete. Next is select queries. The relative number of select queries related to the DB user out of the total activities is considered in the uh, risk calculation. It also considers high volume activities. So DB user that have high volume activities as compared to the average of all entities of similar type can be considered as high volume activity, which indicate risks from the particular user. Next is off work activity. Activities related to DB user that occurred in non-work hours. So these are the risk indicators used to derive total risk score per user. It will help for overall risk assessment. Risk portal updates all the audited risky user group members and reinstall the policy during its daily processes, effectively updating any policy that uses it. Guardian constantly monitor the resources. It update your data access policy automatically based on its analysis. If manage unit resources are overloaded for any reason, Guardian automatically uninstall the dynamically auditing policy on the overloaded manage unit. Uninstalling the policy does not impact the member of the risk portal audited risk user group or watch list group. So now let's see what are the prerequisites to enable the risk portal. We should configure and enable the required and potential guardian modules before enabling the risk portal. So first is required modules. We should consider all collector must be running over V11 or later uh, version. Ports like 8983 and 9983 should be enable on collectors and center manager. Verify these ports are not blocked by any firewall. Next is solar. So solar should be running on the environment. By default, it is enabled. We can confirm with the help of guard API solar status. Next is uh, enterprise search. So enterprise check enterprise search that is query data across the entire guardian uh, environment. It should be enabled by default. If it is not uh, enabled, so this is the guard API which can help to enable uh, enterprise search across the GDP environment. So next is uh, unit utilization data processing. It access resource utilization of each guardian system in your environment to maximize user auditing. So next is STAP and buffer usage monitoring. It enables the central manager to get updated information on the unit utilization and on its managed unit. Now let's see modules which are not required but recommended for the risk portal. First is 
एक्टिव थ्रेट एनालिटिक्स एज वी डिस्कस एक्टिव थ्रेट एनालिटिक्स आइडेंटिफाइज वेरियस टाइप ऑफ सस्पेक्टेड अटैक्स दिस फाइंडिंग्स आर इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू द रिस्क वॉटर एनालिसिस नेक्स्ट इज ट्राई टू इंस्टॉल डायनामिक ऑडिटिंग प्रोसेसेस टू गेट द मोस्ट कंपेरेसिव रिस्क असेसमेंट कॉन्फिगर डायनामिक ऑडिटिंग लाइक क्रिएट इंस्टॉल सिलेक्ट अ पॉलिसी दैट incorporates the risk spotter audited risky user group this policy audits identify risky users and users in the risk spotter watcher list and samples user beyond your policy radar next is uh, the database pro, uh, protection subscription service that is publishes update to know vulnerabilities the dps file is not mandatory but without it the risk score are less accurate so best practice is to subscribe the service whether you use risk spotter or not configure risk spotter on the central manager or stand alone guardian system so next see how risk spotter page looks like you can enable risk spotter process without enabling the optional and guardian modules you will always get the best result by enabling both the required and optional modules it will take up to 10 minutes for the risk spotter page to update the number of managed units running on the enterprise Said, or whether activity threats analytics is enabled so this is the risk spotter page the risk spotter page represent the risk data over the entire period with the help of graph and table let's check how use risk spotter data in your daily activities the page indicate if risk spotter is running or not it has log and status button this log has details of um, like examples start and end of the risk spotter process if and when the risk spotter policy was installed the donut of the left hand shows total number of the risky users detected on the environment it also indicates 0 to 10 score for the risk spotter user from 0 to 2 3 consider as low from 3 to 6 consider as medium from 6 to 10 consider as a high level risk this page also indicates the average risk over the time so we can select the time from this and we will get how many users um, are considered during this time it also if you select any risk from this table we will get in which risk indicators implies for this risky user now usage of the uh, uh, risk spotter result so there is option uh, like action from which we can perform different uh, actions against the risky user we can view uh, details for the risky user and maximum risk details uh, we can open investigation dashboard from here to investigate details about the actions performed by the risky user that will help to understand like uh, sql queries that is ex executed by the risky user if uh, it appears that risky user with potential risk we can create a ticket against it if external ticketing system is configured so we can open a ticket in service now or resilience we can add user in watch list also we can add user to the different groups which will help uh, included in the policy for the monitoring 